question of how many more damning Oranga Tamariki reports need to come out before things change. The Chief Ombudsman's latest report into the Ministry of Children details extremely distressing stories in complaints and inquiries received in the past four years. Peter Bosher says OT has an alarming absence of discipline in many sites across the country. Fano Order Commissioning Agency Chair Merepeka Raukawa Tate says many of these reports mention the same issues. While there might be one or two good parts of the report, most of them do say substantial change needs to happen, improvements must be made, children are still very vulnerable while in state care. People who knew him are remembering Efeso Collins as a champion of the Pacific community. The Green Party MP and former Auckland Council member collapsed and died at a charity event yesterday morning. First Union General Secretary Dennis Marga says the union and its members are deeply saddened. We work with him closely and looking after our members in South Auckland, uh, particularly Pacifica workers, where he actually championed rights and welfare. Auckland Airport is standing by its multi-billion dollar redevelopment plans. Air New Zealand is asking the government to look into the plans, saying it will make airfares five times more expensive without increasing capacity. But Airport Chief Executive Kerry Hoodie Hanganui says Air New Zealand has a commercial interest in keeping landing charges low. From both their profit margins low, as well as if we add capacity, that opens the door for competition. Firefighters have extinguished a blaze in a commercial workshop in Auckland's Onihunga. Fifteen trucks, including two ladder trucks, were called to Galway Street around 4.30pm yesterday. A fire investigator has attended the scene and all crews left around midnight. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.